Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Merry Christmas for all of you who celebrate Christmas. It is Christmas today. Uh, today, I think I want to tackle this house right here. This is a modern house. It, it, it says so. It says modern house. So let's tackle this, and let's see just how modern... <laughs> this modern house is. Spoiler alert, we may be in for a surprise. So looking around, uh, everything, you know, out here, obviously we know what we got to do. We got some space back here. We've got like a covered garage area, a uh, fairly large yard and patio area back here. Lots of space, lots of windows. The house is in pretty poor uh, repair, so we'll have to do some stuff with this, but that's fine. Uh, we got mole hills that we'll have to deal with. Let's take a look at the inside of this modern house and just see. Okay, so we've got like red plastery stucco walls, which is very not modern. <laughs> we've got uh, very traditional furniture and Persian rugs which is like the polar opposite of modern. More uh, large, like, Persian-style rugs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lots of traditional furniture in here as well. Look at this bathroom. Oh, it's hideous. Again, very traditional furniture and colors. Lots of hallways and walls, like the kitchen here is, uh, enclosed uh, in its own room with a walled-off door. Again, that's very anti-modern design uh, ideas. And then we've got some bedrooms down here, which are all really ugly as well. And look at this green bathroom with a pink tub. Ugh, it's terrible. My friends, we have been clickbaited. <laughs> this house claims to be a modern house, but there's very little about it that's actually modern, other than the fact that it's got a lot of windows over here and a nice yard. That, that That's about it. That's all we really have. <laughs> oh man, do we have some work to do. Okay, so first of all, you know the drill. We're going to clean up the, uh, the yard, get all this stuff uh, cleaned up and whatnot, get rid of the trash. Uh, probably gonna have to reside the house. I might just paint the house, actually. This is nice, though. This is one thing that, that, that is actually modern. A style, uh, where they've got kind of a, a stone wall over here. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna get working on the house, and I'll catch up with you in just a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have cleaned up the yard. It's all mowed and everything like that. I painted the house white because we're going for a very modern house here. They, you know, they tried to sell me a modern house, and it wasn't exactly a modern house, but by golly, I'm going to make it a modern house. <laughs> it's the way I'm looking at this. Um, so anyway, I painted the house white because that's a very modern color. Um, and then on the inside... I gutted everything. So I tore out all of the interior walls. This one right here cannot be torn out. It's, I guess, a support wall, of some sort of, I, I don't know. Either way, this one cannot be torn out. Everything else, though, I tore out and I painted the whole house white. Part of the reason that I always paint the house white to start with is because I have a skill or a perk for wall painting where the wall is already painted, and it's already painted white. It, it defaults to white. So, um, in fact, it will only be painted as white. So that way, when I'm putting in new walls, if I decide, for example, that I want to wall this off, I don't need to repaint anything. It's already the right color. And then, realistically, I'm going to end up using white pretty regularly, because it's just such a neutral color that goes with everything. Um, so yeah. That's the plan. So now what I need to do is section off this house and divide it up into rooms because I tore everything out, 
But realistically, we need to sort of redefine the entire space that we started out with. Uh, we can't just have one giant open room house. I mean, technically we could, but that would be ridiculous. Uh, so what we're going to end up doing is putting in bedrooms, bathrooms, all that kind of stuff. I want to figure out where I want to put the kitchen, um, etc. We're going to have a much more open concept house than what we started with, for sure. But we do need to wall off some parts of the house for, as I said, things like bathrooms and bedrooms and, you know, stuff like that. So let me get to it and then I will catch up with you. After a lot of thought and a lot of trial and error, I decided to divide this up into a pretty luxurious three bedroom, one and a half bathroom house. So out here in the main room, we'll have our kitchen area kind of over in here, maybe a dining area kind of more over on this side. Uh, this will be sort of the main living room area where the TV and everything like that is. And then over here, we're going to put a fireplace up against this pillar uh, and uh, probably like a wraparound couch here to sort of take advantage of the fireplace. Um, over here, we've got a little half bathroom, nothing super crazy. This is an office space, but it could also be a bedroom. You know, thing, I mean, for example... If you look at the house that I live in right now, my office is technically a bedroom, but I'm using it as an office. So this is kind of the same concept. It could be a bedroom or it could be an office. We're going to use it as an office. Um, and then over here we have one of the two smaller bedrooms. The second of the two smaller bedrooms. This will be a little laundry room and a little mud room right in here. And then over on this side of the house, we have the main bathroom, pretty good sized. Uh, we might even bring it out a little bit more. I might bring it more to like over here just to add a little bit more space. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But then over here, we've got what will be the master bedroom. Um, and all of the bedrooms do have a closet. Uh, this one has a larger closet. The other two have uh, smaller closets, but they still have closets. So altogether, three really large bedrooms that all have, you know, built-in closets and everything like that. Uh, and then one and a half bathrooms uh, is what I've decided to do here. And that's a really nice, like super luxurious uh, house. Yeah, we could definitely fit more bedrooms in here, without a doubt. Um, but I think I want to go more on the side of this being a very nice house rather than being uh, a very efficient house, I guess you would say, uh, if that makes any sense. So anyway, I'm going to get to work on decorating these rooms, and I think we'll probably just start with the big room uh, right here. The large dining living room kitchen is finished. And I think I'm happy with it. I went with a very uh, black and white sort of color scheme here. Originally, I was going to have sort of this smaller area be the kitchen, but it just didn't really feel grand enough for this house. So I decided to bring the kitchen over to this side as well, which means I brought this wall out just a little bit. Uh, so that we could fit sort of a wraparound counter that goes around the whole area, uh, a built-in fridge over here, and then a, uh, a fairly large kitchen island right in the middle. So we got our kitchen over here. Over on this side, we went with a fireplace and sort of a wraparound couch, which was what I had originally been planning. That worked out just fine. Uh, and then I moved the dining room table to over here, sort of centered on the stone support wall. Um, so that worked out, I, I, I think. <laughs> this is the one part of this room that I'm kind of like, eh, but it works. It's fine. And then over here we did uh, sort of another living room area with a TV and a stand, two couches, uh, an area rug, and... Um, I think this is technically a, a wardrobe, but it fit the uh, the modern vibe that I was going with. I also put in uh, outlets and vents kind of around the room. Um, a lot of people have been like, why don't you ever use radiators? And I don't use them very often in this series. But it's because most houses, at least in the United States, um, 
don't have radiators. We have central air, vents, like this. Yes, there are radiators in some houses in the United States. In fact, the house that I grew up in has a radi had radiators. But I, that's, like, the only house that I can think of, except for maybe, like, my grandparents' house, that actually has radiators. Th they're pretty uncommon here. Um, usually what you'll have is vents or maybe some sort of, like, electric cooling uh, that's not, like, a, a full-blown radiator, but it's, like, a, like a strip along the, the ground that, rate, that you know, puts out heat. I, I don't know. Either way, uh, I, I kind of worked those in, put in an air conditioning unit. Um, all in all, I think this works. This is fine. Uh, it's very open. It's very spacious, which is exactly what I was going for. Uh, and it gives me that kind of modern feel that I wanted. So I'm happy with it. I think we're going to kind of work our way over here now. We'll tackle this little room and uh, this bathroom next. So that's taken care of. We've just got a little kind of uh, entryway room here. A uh, couple of cabinets and a bookshelf painting on the wall. Just something to sort of fill the space. It's not really a room that serves a real purpose other than to provide access to the bathroom and this uh, master bedroom over here. But the bathroom, on the other hand, I think turned out pretty well. I managed to fit in both a bathtub and a shower, along with, of course, a sink and a toilet. Uh, we've got some hanging cupboards on the walls and some cabinets down here, some shelves up here, um, and then some towels, showers, the nice built-in kind, which I think looks much better, uh, and then a large white rug uh, that kind of goes along there. So I think this turned out pretty well. This, uh, you know, it, we took advantage of all the space. We managed to fit in everything we need, uh, and I think it works great. So that's taken care of. Next up is the master bedroom. Well, my friends, here is the master bedroom. I think it turned out pretty well. We went with American Elm for the majority of the furniture. Put in a nice double bed, dresser, a couple of bookshelves over here, a little, uh, I think this is technically considered a bookcase over here, a little vanity. Uh, added in a little dog bed, because I figured, you know what, why not? Well, we'll say that the family moving in here is going to have a dog. Uh, added a dresser over here with a TV mounted on the wall. Uh, a couple of pictures, nothing super crazy there, and then I added a little closet space in here as well with some shelves and some uh, coat hanger type things. So that's the master bedroom. Uh, next, I think what I want to do is I want to tackle this little laundry room right here uh, and this bedroom. And actually, you know what, come to think of it, I need to do this little half bathroom as well. Let me get those taken care of. Okay, so, little half bathroom. Oop, shut the door on my face. Uh, little half bathroom right here. Just toilet, couple of cabinets, some wall-mounted cabinets, a sink, mirror, a couple of commodes, and uh, some towels. Nothing fancy at all. It's just a small little half bathroom, but it works. Gets the job done. Uh, then we've got the laundry room over here. Again, very simple. Just uh, washer, dryer, clothes rack. That's all we're doing with this room. Super simple, just a little uh, laundry room. And then the first bedroom in here. Uh, and this is a little bit more in depth. We put an air conditioner on the wall, put a couple of bookshelves over here, some dressers, uh, TV, bed, shelving, a uh, little closet space in here, and uh, a couple of paintings and pictures and motivational posters, essentially. Uh, but it all kind of fits a, a nice uh, black and white sort of color scheme, which is what I'm using a lot in this house uh, because I think it works. I think it gives that kind of vibe that I'm going for. So there we go. Now I need to tackle the office and the other bedroom. All right, I've finished up the last of the rooms. So this room, uh, this this little hallway type room, just put in a little plant, a couple of plants, a little cabinet here, nothing crazy at all. Uh, but the office, I think, turned out pretty well. We went with mostly metal uh, for the furniture, so a metal desk and a metal uh, office cabinet over here. Bookshelf, because there's not, as far as I know, there's not an actual metal bookshelf that was the right size, but uh, went with a white one instead. Air conditioner, uh, and then just some various, you know, accessories. Computer monitor, keyboard, mouse, computer, laptop, little mini fridge, safe. 
a couple of shelves on the wall, whiteboard, you know, that's about it. Um, but nice little office space, and again, this could be used as a bedroom instead, although you'd probably go with a different type of door uh, if you were going to make this a bedroom, but that's fine. Uh, and then for the final actual bedroom, uh, again, kept it pretty simple. Went with cedar for most of the furniture in this case. Uh, a, a, a picture on the wall, a couple of plants here and here, closet again. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the closet. Let's fix that real quick. We'll just grab a couple of black wood shelves and we'll just go uh, like that. There we go. So now it's a, actually a functional closet. It's now considered a storeroom, uh, although I can't get in there because it's so small. Uh, but there we go. So that's all done as well. And I think at this point, the house as a whole is complete. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with the outside. The outside is actually pretty good as it is uh, because it came with a lot of plants. We did mow it and stuff, but uh, I'm not going to do anything in the outside. Um, so yeah, recap of the house. We've got a living room, dining room, and kitchen area over here. We have a full bathroom in here. The master bedroom over here with a fully functional closet. Then coming over to this side of the house, we have a little half bathroom. We've got a little laundry room, uh, another bedroom over here, another bedroom over here, and then an office. So that is essentially the house. Let's go ahead and see what we can get for it. Let's just do that. There we go. Not too bad. So free money. <laughs> I'll take it. Let's put the house on auction and see what we can get. So altogether, it looks like we have roughly... Oh, math is hard. Uh, 195 minus... Roughly 180,000 into this house, give or take. So not too shabby. I'm going to get 130,000 or so back. So we will accept the offer. And I think this is another one that's going to be bugged out. And it's going to kind of show the before and after, but not really like it'll show. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. Not a big deal. All I really did with the outside of the house was repaint it, uh, which you can't tell from these pictures, but it's fine. Sometimes the before and after shots kind of bug out and they they show like partial progress. It's a little weird, but either way. I'm pretty happy with it. And I know it's a little bit of a shorter episode, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, guys. It is, after all, Christmas, and I should probably spend, like, a little bit of time with my wife and stuff. You know, it's kind of important. Uh, so I'm going to call it here for this one. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.